Hey, what's up? Henry Hopkin here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to import a Rust model or player models more specifically. To get the player FBX, it's pretty easy. You just type in player model. All right. And then you just click here. It's a pretty big folder. You should be able to get it and just click this and put it in the folder you like. Boom. Done. Cool. Now the second one is a bit harder. So just, um, Delete this, go to asset list, type this in. I'll put it in the description as well. And you should be able to find it. Boom. And you got it. This is what it looks like. So just grab it all. Just highlight it. Wait. Boom. Export selected assets. Put it in the same folder. Boom. So now you have them both in a folder. Pretty simple, right? So you can close this. Close this. Open up Blender. And you can... Uh, Rust tools, import Rust model, and find the uh, Rust player. So where is it? This, boom, put it up to 100, import Rust model. Now you have it here. All right, cool. So now you can look on the armature and look what you look, like take what you're looking for. So I don't like, I, I wanna be a male, so I'm gonna delete all the females. So take female from top to bottom, and delete boom now we only have the males left uh so there's male dark asian light i'm just gonna I like i'm gonna go with the dark one so let's just uh delete all the light ones delete asian delete all right now we have different uh male heads you can say so you can just uh, you know, close this and see which one you like. So, where is it? There's one more head. Which one is this? Uh, this is just a neutral head, I guess. So there's this, there's this, there's this, there's this, and there's this. I think this is a pretty decent. I'm gonna go with this one. So I can delete this and the rest of these. Boom. All right. Now we'll get to shading in a second. So let's fix the fix the normal maps real quick so look at this folder you can see there's a lot of uh messed up normal heads normal normals my bad so for that just open up game image uto and fix it real quick just grab I'll grab all these normals real quick boom 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 drop them here fixed cool uh all right let's get into texturing before we even start texturing make sure your render engine is cycles all right now choose the head go find the folder with the uh, stuff you need so here's the stuff I have, and then just uh, get the um, get this male dark. Also, this male dark works for all the different head shapes. They've done it somehow like that. <clears throat> then you just need to get a normal map. So look up the normal, normal map. Boom. Get this here. Find the normal. You have to look for this separately. Some of these files are not that do not come with it right away, but. Um, even the dark hair, the dark uh, faces and the Asian faces, they use both the same normal map, which is the male wrinkle normal. So make sure you have that. Now uh, let's get the specular as well, real quick. Male specular, same thing here. They all use the same specular. I put it here. All right, cool. Now this is the hard part. Uh, you gotta get a mix, mix thing, right? Put it here and change it from float to color. Cool. And you have it like this. Right now, change it from mix to multiply, and go to Google, look up uh, human skin hex. All right, look for the first one. Look what you like, like this one. I'm gonna go with this. Copy that. Go on the second color. Go to hex. Put it here. Boom. And I'll just put it up like I don't know how you like it. I on zero point nine, just like that. You have the head. Same thing. The same thing with the body. Uh, I'd copy actually this, copy this here, put it here, put it here, and uh, look up the normal, normal map, put this here, and I'll just get the male body normal map, get the male body, and get the specular. Boom, and you're done. Look at this. Perfect. 
Uh, oh, and the feet and the legs and they all use the same texture. That's, yep. I don't, why is it like this? What, what happened? Oh, it's because I'm in material preview. If you go and render it, it fixes the eyes if it's messed up. All right, what's up guys? I'm done texturing. So uh, I'll put the pictures on the screen so you can copy my note setup. But some of the tips I want to give you when doing this is make sure these two shaders are exactly identical. If you mess it up, it's going to look really weird and there's going to be like a weird line near the neck. I'll put a picture on screen. This is what happened to me earlier today. So I had to retexture it. Another thing is if you want new materials, right, then just click here and then you click here new. And then boom, you have a new flat node that you can uh, adjust to your liking. What else is... Um, the eyelashes, they're actually pretty simple. You just need to put the eyelash thingy PNG into alpha. It gives it that uh, transparent feeling, you know? If you look at this, it's like... Wait, hold up. I'll get closer. Look, it looks like this. If I get rid of it, it looks like this weird, you know? So make sure to put it in alpha. Uh, another thing is, there's two eyes, actually. Uh, eyes, outer eyes, right? So there's two eyes. The outer eyes are supposed to be, uh, like, transparent. That's why I use a glass BDS, and this they have a different IOR. Like eyes have a eyes IOR, and it's one point five four four. So just copy that. And the uh, eyes itself, right? Uh, looks like this. Pretty simple. All right. In the next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do custom skins, and uh, why I would never try to do a uh, normal hood in Rust or in Blender. All right. See you guys.